Hey everybody, it's Midwest Comic Man. For this episode of Creator, Sp Creator Spotlight, I've chosen Mac Rayboy. To me, Mac Rayboy is all about clean lines, telling a story with a simple yet powerful image, and his amazing patriotic World War II covers. Born on April 17, 1914, Emmanuel Mac Rayboy got his entry into comics, as so many others of that era did. With, through the Harry A. Chesler Studio of Comic Artists. He's most known for his work on Captain Marvel Jr. and Green Llama. When the production schedule for comics got to be too much for him, he started moving the work to other people, and then he moved on from comics. He was a great admirer of Alex Raymond, the creator of Flash Gordon, so it must have been a true thrill for him after he left the comic book industry. He was the artist selected to work on the Sunday pages of Flash Gordon which he did for over 20 years until, of his, until his death. Here are 11 of his greatest covers in no particular order. First, we have Ibis the Invincible number one. This is a great cover. I dig this cover type of cover. Has that kind of Indiana Jones feel. You have Ibis there with his wand as a mysterious but alluringly beautiful woman appears in a cloud of smoke from a golden urn in some kind of ruin or pyramid. Very clean lines, lots of detail. This is what Mac Rayboy is all about. Next, we have Spy Smasher 4. Mac Rayboy shined with patriotic and World War II covers. As you're going to see, as almost all of the covers I picked fall into that genre. Here, we have a giant Spy Smasher standing with a giant eagle looking down on Congress. While Congress today is about as effective as a one-handed clap, this is still a great patriotic cover. Next, we have Spy Smasher 11. This is a great World War II cover. You have Spy Smasher parachuting down on a group of Nazi soldiers, blasting away with a machine gun as they catch him in their spotlight, or attacking with artillery, guns, whatever they got. You have a flaming plane crashing in the background. It's just great stuff. Next, we have Green Llama 2. Again, with an awesome patriotic World War II cover. Green Llama flying with a fleet of fighters and bombers over ships, tanks, and trains full of war material. I love the purple background. And of course, at the bottom of the cover, Forward to Victory in 1945. Next, we have Captain Marvel Jr. number 4. Ray Boy shined with his Captain Marvel Jr. covers, as the great legend would surely agree. It's a great cover of Captain Marvel Jr. standing in the middle of an explosion with a great use of light and shadow on his face and costume, giving him an almost three-dimensional quality. The cape flowing in the background, this is just awesome stuff. Master Comics 29 is next. Captain Marvel Jr. belts the Terror Twins. Is there anything cooler than taking a belt to the ass of Hirohito and Hitler? Not in the early 40s would be my answer. Hirohito screams in pain as Hitler jumps looking like he was just goosed. A whimsical but awesome World War II cover. Next we have Master Comics 30. A classic patriotic cover. Captain Marvel Jr. raises a tattered US flag, rallying a squad of soldiers to advance onto the Nazis. Again, we see great use of light and shadow and you can almost hear the rallying cry that rouses the troops. This is a great cover. Next is Master Comics 33. A simple yet powerful image conveys everything it needs to for this cover. Captain Marvel Jr. throws a haymaker into a concrete swastika, smashing it to bits. No backgrounds needed for this to get its point across. It does just fine with what it has. Next is Master Comics 40. Perhaps my favorite Mac Rayboy cover ever. It doesn't get any more patriotic than this. Again, a simple concept with maximum effect. So it's simply Captain Marvel Jr. standing at attention and saluting a US flag. How awesome is that? Next, we have Christmas Comics. 324 pages for 50 cents. What? That's a huge book. Classic cover of all the Fawcett heroes standing in the hands of a great rendition of Santa Claus. 
This, at the time, this depiction of Santa Claus was relatively new. Although it started in the late 1800s, the red suit Jolly Santa image didn't really take off until a Coca-Cola ad in 1931. So this is one of the earlier renditions of Santa in that style, and it's a true classic. Finally, we have Captain Marvel 17, another one of my favorite covers. As always, Ray Boy accomplished a lot with a simple image. In this one, Captain Marvel Jr. rockets off into the air with a rocket ship by his side, the futuristic city in the background, very clean lines, great facial detail, and a feeling of motion all contribute to this being an amazing cover. We lost Mac Rayboy on December 12, 1967 at the age of 53. While he did not have as long a career as many of the Golden Age greats, his impact cannot be denied, and he influenced a generation of artists with his eye for composition and light and shadow. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and sub me up. I'll put my website for my cleaning and pressing business in the description below. Continue to make updates as time allows. If you need any info, my email address is on the website. The next episode of Creator Spotlight is probably going to be a viewer requested one. More details to come on that. So stay tuned for that, as well as the next issue of Inside the Covers, which will spotlight Planet Comics number 5. If there are any creators you want to see spotlighted, or an issue you would like to see on Inside the Covers, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure you tune in for Comics Core on Friday nights. Happy hour of the comic community, where anything can happen, as we saw at C2E2. And blast your stash at Sunday nights. The best reviews of new comic books out there, as well as at least one fight between Drew Manchu and Poe Kanjo in every episode, almost guaranteed. For my comic community shout out this episode, please check out CR Comics to Toys. He's currently at 75 subs. Kevin's been putting out some great tours of local comic shops, as well as doing hauls and toy unboxings. Check him out, sub him up, let's get him to make some more videos. Till next time, this is Midwest Comic Man, coming at you from the funny pages.